It's another lady of the house kind of day and with today being Thursday, we have a special project that we are going to complete. So this is the day that I would normally say would be a good day to go grocery shopping. And so after all of that is done, then it's a good time to focus on something that you could do to spring clean and get a, another project done. So because I feel that I have more time just because I haven't spent a lot of the time doing a lot of other tasks that I would normally do today, I am going to focus on my wardrobe area. It is now very warm. I don't need any coats any longer. I don't need any trench coats really. It's warming up very quickly here in Las Vegas. So I am going to pack those away but I am also going to be cleaning off the top um, shelves or the top of the wardrobe in my dressing room area. I also want to use this time to go through all of the clothes that I, that I have in there that I want to sell. I'm going to picture them and I am going to post them today. So I'm really not going to do much of anything else in the house and I just need to get this done. I started this project a while ago and then I never followed through with it and uploaded things to Patreon, not Patreon, to Poshmark, but I am going to do that today. That was a big task that I wanted to complete, a big project that I wanted to complete this month. So let's get to cleaning off the top of the wardrobes and then picturing all of the dresses that I want to sell this spring and then if you are interested in any of these dresses please head over to my Poshmark closet. I have that linked in my description box below but without further ado let's get busy. I am definitely ready to pack this coat away. This has been my favorite coat to wear all winter. It's received the most compliments of any coat I've ever worn but it is time to pack it away until the fall slash winter season. So this will really free up this little mini closet that I have here that um, I haven't decided if I'm going to be going with a week's worth of dresses in there or if I am going to be um, hanging up all of my nightgowns that I like to wear in the evening. So. We'll just have to see, but it's fun to figure out what to do in this time. Now I'm making a pile right here for dresses that I'm going to take pictures of. And then this is the stuff that I am going to be um, packing away in my boxes. I also have my tape measure here that way anything that I need to um, measure out and put on Poshmark I can. I can't believe I'm going to be selling this dress. I love this dress so much but it just doesn't fit me anymore so I need to sell it. It's a beautiful gal meets glam dress. Definitely hasn't got as much wear out of it as I had hoped to but um, somebody else will love it. <music>
If you love dresses, you need to make sure that you have someone in your life that you can talk to about them. I've been getting distracted as I've been sharing my recent Ross finds with my sister-in-law. I also like to share them with my friend Jessica because she's the one that really got me into shopping at Ross and so it's fun to have that person or those ladies that you like to talk about those things with that you really enjoy. So anyway, we were swapping pictures of our finds and then also there was this dress that I found today that is just beautiful. I cannot wait to share it with you, but right now I'm having my daughter um, sew the v-neck part together because it's one of those where it just, it's like a crossover a wrap style but it's a faux wrap but that front part that does wrap it just opens up too much so I'm having her I'm having her stitch that together right now and um, I'm going to be looking through other dresses right now that I can have her do that while she has the needle and thread out and then when you do that then it just makes it so much more of a dress that you will want to pull out of your closet to wear because you won't have to fuss with it. So find those little those little things that bother you, get them fixed, sew it yourself, hem it, whatever you need to do, or have somebody that knows how to do it really well do that or fix a hem or anything that you need to do so that your clothing is more wearable for you. I would really encourage you to do that. But okay, now that the um, the wardrobes are wiped down, I am going to put the coats that I have in the bins that I have, get everything back up on the wardrobes except for the two boxes or the two bins that have the clothing that I need to picture. So then I'm going to picture those and get busy posting them, but it just feels good to get those dusted off because they were pretty, pretty dirty in there. Another thing that I could do is dust this, but I'm not going to get more distracted than I already was with texting. See, that's something that we can get into trouble with, you know, we can waste a lot of time, but it's fun to, to, you know, communicate, share something, which is what I was doing. Anyway, all right, time to get busy.
but that's just not going to happen this time. I am going to do very little in way of how many pictures and everything because I'm really just trying to clear out my closet. So um, I want it to look nice and appealing on the hanger, but I'm not going to be um, modeling them this time around. Unfortunately, a lot of these pictures are coming out a little blurry. So this is the frustrating part because of course you want to have clear pictures, you want the color to be true to what it actually looks like. So there is a problem with me shooting against the light. That's one of the reasons why I closed the blinds behind and I thought that I would have enough light coming from the side of my bed but I may just have to end up shooting earlier in the day another day and I don't know we will just have to see what I'm going to do right now is just upload these anyway and then um, if I do get questions about getting a clearer picture I will take it then but I'm even feeling like tomorrow would be a good day to try to take some more pictures that are just a little bit more clear. So what I really want to do though is just get these uploaded to Poshmark because I have been putting this off for far too long. So I'm just going to go with what I have right now and just be good with that. that feels amazing now I have all of the dresses uploaded to my shop and I have one more thing that I need to do okay so one of the things that I did not do was picture these little girl aprons that I've had for a while and I used to sell aprons in my Etsy shop many of you purchased my aprons and I have I had some leftover fabric that I just wanted some little girl aprons made from so um, 
I have these. I'm going to picture them and just put them in my Poshmark closet. So if you are looking for, maybe you purchased one of these in, in these uh, patterns, go ahead and check out what I have left in my Poshmark closet. Something I do in the fall and winter season is change out all of my nightwear to coats. So I've had that, as I said, all of those coats in there and I've decided instead of going with a week's worth of dresses, I really love seeing my nightwear hung up. So I'm going to be using that small wardrobe for my nightwear. So I'm just going to start unpacking while well, I are, I've already started and it helped me make the decision to just put my nightwear in there. So I'm going to continue taking out my beautiful nightwear and then hang it according to color. And then um, there are some things within that side of the wardrobe that I wanted to reposition and just um, figure out where else it could be because it just wasn't very functional like some of the shoes that I had at the bottom so I'm going to spend a little bit of time just rearranging things within that wardrobe and getting it to just a very functional position because um, it's so much nicer to have your nightwear hanging this was nice and it worked out well while, while I had my coats hanging in the future, it would be nice just to have a coat closet so I don't have to take up valuable real estate within my wardrobe with the coats. But um, anyway, I'm just going to take some time to take out my nightwear, hang it up, and organize it within the wardrobe over there.
still have a few more things that are within the drawer in my wardrobe, but um, I'm all out of hangers now. So these are all of my hangers. One of the things that I did was I lifted up the shelf that is right there in the back because it added an extra shelf at the bottom. But because these are so long and I don't want, I just want them to hang as, um, as much as possible. So I just lifted that up since I'm not going to be using it right now. And I think that this will be so much better and it's just much easier access and it looks beautiful. So I am very happy with that. I have more organizing to do, but I am going to leave you here. Something that I'm going to be doing over on Patreon today is releasing my Lady of the House bonus video, which I am going to be covering my daughter's closet and packing things away for her, her off-season items, and just kind of organizing all of her dresses that's something that she loves to do is just wear dresses every single day so it's so much fun to shop for her and then to help her out with her wardrobe and keep it organized and that's something that I'm trying to teach her and just how to care for her items so if you're interested in that I hope that you will join me over on patreon and then there are so many extras that you get with for joining over there. I have a weekly newsletter that I put out as well as just bonus videos every single week. So thank you so much for being here with me and I hope that you take care and I will see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.